Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Germany and how it's a bad sign for Putin. Um, you know, early on, we talked about how no matter what goes on on the ground, Putin lost the, the war on the international stage. And because of that, Russia will be dealing with the consequences for years and years and years to come. The first big sign of that, um, beyond the sanctions, happened this month as well. Historically, because of events in the 1930s and 40s, um, Germany has not really had a military, not a large one. They focused mainly on territorial defense and having enough capability to contribute to NATO missions. But they never really built back up the massive military that a country like Germany can't afford. Germany has announced that it will now be spending uh, about $110 billion a year on, on defense. Now, for Americans, you're going, Pff, okay, and for everybody else in the world, it, it's a big deal. Because at $110 billion, that makes them the third largest spender on defense. They will have the third largest defense budget, surpassing Russia. Russia spends about $67, uh, $67 billion, somewhere between $67 and $70 billion. Um, one of the things that happened, one of the, the assumably... <laughs> unintended consequences of Putin's move was putting Europe on alert. Now, under the pretext that Russia has offered it having to do with NATO, um, it, it would uh, be counterproductive to have all of the NATO countries increase their defense spending, especially a country like Germany who can spend what it can spend. Um, there's no way for Russia to keep up. Russia can't outspend Russia can't outspend Germany, much less Germany, the United Kingdom, France, the United States, and all of the other NATO members. This move put NATO on a more aggressive stance. Their footing has changed. They're going to start building up because we're going back into a Cold War style thing. Now, it's, it's funny because the best presentation I've seen of this apparently came from somebody who is a, a, a gamer. Like they're, they're, According to them, they know nothing about this topic, but they put together one of the best presentations on it I've seen. $67 billion, $70 billion that Russia spends, it, it, it doesn't really produce a lot. You, you get the breakdowns that you've seen thus far because they have to spend a lot of money on prestige items, the nukes and the Navy. That costs a lot of money, and that doesn't really do them much good in a situation like Ukraine. With all of these other countries starting to ramp up defense spending, if Russia is truly concerned about NATO, they have to try to match it. That's kind of what contributed to the downfall of the Soviet Union. Russia has put itself in a bad situation. The reaction of the West, of NATO, to this invasion is a really bad sign for Putin's long-term plans, what he said they were. Um, now, contrary to what I think most Germans may believe about this, your, your neighbors aren't going to be worried. Um, there, most countries, especially countries like Poland, will, will probably be kind of relieved um, because in the eyes of NATO for a long time, you know, Germany wasn't meeting its 2% mark, which they're supposed to spend, all NATO countries are supposed to spend about 2% of their gross domestic product on defense. Germany wasn't doing it. A lot of countries don't do it. Um, 
But for a country like Germany, where 2% is a lot of money, it, it created a little bit of tension, especially with the less economically powerful countries who felt like Germany wasn't pulling their weight. Dumping $110 billion into the defense budget will certainly alter that perception. Um, now, it will be interesting to see what Germany chooses to spend this money on. Because uh, when you're building a military, it's not just about putting troops together. You have to decide what kind of war you're going to fight, so on and so forth. And you have to plan ahead for that. You have to start building the military you want to have when you go to war. It, it's going to be uh, it's going to be very telling to see what that money gets spent on, whether it's tanks or helicopters, or they, they, whether they focus on naval power, where they put that money. Um, because it will tell you a lot about their doctrine outside of NATO, what, what they feel they can contribute to European defense on their own. Um, so that's something, if you're interested in this topic, it's definitely something to watch because it will be able to forecast developments in Europe. Because Germany is a, uh, is a country that historically has paid attention to, to developments. And the, the military they choose to build with this massive investment, it, it's going to be geared towards their best guess of what coming conflicts in Europe would look like. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.